Hello Creative! It's your graphics girl of graphicsgirl.com. That's graphics with PH and S. Girl with no I and three R's. And I'm here with a quick tip to help you design your brand. Now quick tip videos are designed to focus in like a laser beam on one thing in a program. This way you don't have to wade through long tutorials that drone on and on to get to that nugget, that thing you've been struggling with. So this way you can just watch this quick video, learn how to do it and move on. You're welcome. But first, would you like a free cheat sheet? Sir, yes, sir! Head over to graphicsgirl.com to download your free InDesign cheat sheet that will show you all the shortcuts in the program. Just click the link below. When you're doing multi-page layouts, like a newsletter or magazine, it's not uncommon that you have copy that needs to flow from one page to the other. Think of the magazine where there's continued on page 240 after they have some ads. So if you find yourself creating text boxes that have copy that overflow the first text box and you need to put it into another text box, that's called threading text. You want to flow it from one box into another to continue on the story. Here's how you do that in InDesign. When you put some copy in your first text box, at the bottom of your text box, you'll see a small red box with a red plus sign in the middle. This is known as the more box. It's a visual cue that there's more text than can fit in this text box. To have the text from this box flow into this box, what you'll do is click on the more box. So with your selection tool, the arrow now at the top of your toolbar, you're going to click on that red plus sign. You'll see that it fills your cursor with the copy that you can just click down on your next text box and to have it flow through. You see here, I have so much text, it overflows this text box. But if you take a look at the upper left hand corner, it shows you a little playhead at the top now showing you the direction that the text is flowing from this box into the next text box. So that's how you flow copy or thread text in InDesign. So if you found this video helpful, give it a like. Nice. Share it with your friends. Okay. And please subscribe to my channel. Yes. And don't forget, for free marketing, branding, and design resources, head over to graphicsgirl.com. That's graphics with PH and S, girl with no I and three R's. And I'm here to help you design your brand.